How you doing today, my friends? It's Gerald Bass, G. Bass Well Tips with Point Live from East Point, Georgia. I have one of my properties, and I wanted to shoot a quick video today on why most people are not financially independent. Why most people are not financially independent. And you want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm actually going to give you access to something very special uh, that's going to give you a better understanding on what I speak on in this video for absolutely free at the end of this video so you definitely want to stick around to the end but let's dive into the information today because I don't want this video to be too long on why most people are not financially independent this morning as I actually was going through my morning routine and I was doing uh, my personal development I was actually reading some pages out of a book that we're actually reading within our rise of the one percent book club right now uh, called secrets of the million of mind by T Harv Ecker the inner game of wealth and uh, he was actually speaking on why most people are not financially independent because they feel that to become financially independent, they have to earn more income versus understanding that you really have to learn how to manage your finances. The only difference between those that become financially independent, become rich, wealthy, whatever the case may be, is, is that they learn how to manage their finances. It's not really just about going out and making more money or getting more jobs or whatever the case may be, or even starting more businesses. It's about when you make that money, what you do with the money. So he actually gave a formula that was um, pretty unique to me that I'm actually even finna implement a whole lot more. And he basically said 10% of each check that you make, you want to have an investment account or a financial freedom account, he calls it, a financial freedom account, FFA financial freedom account. So 10% of your earnings off of each check you want to invest. You want to have an investment account. You don't want to touch that account unless you're making some type of investment. And then he said you have another account, which is your play account. That's the account you use to go out and enjoy yourself, to have fun, to treat yourself, to make yourself feel good and live a life of happiness and fulfillment. So you have a Play account as well that you use 10% of your earnings for that. And then he said you also want to have uh, another 10% that goes to giving back. Another 10% that actually goes to giving back. Of course, charities, churches, organizations, or helping someone out, or whatever the case may be. And then he said you want to have 50% for necessities, meaning your bills and things that you actually need when it comes to your life. So if you can set up these different accounts, I mean, it could literally change your life. And not only that, it's one more percentage that he actually stated as well, which was 10% going towards education, meaning your knowledge. Investing in books, audios, mentors, coaches, seminars, what have you. So you want to have these different accounts. 10% for investing, another 10% for play, having fun, 10% for education, 10% for giving back, and 50% for necessities. So this is something that I'm going to be implementing moving forward, especially by us talking about being in the 1%, and I challenge you to do the same thing. Comment below and let me know if this is a challenge that you're willing to go on and not necessarily be like the masses, which is they feel that you just have to go out and just make more money but not necessarily manage your finances. And so just drop a comment below. Let me know what you feel about this. This is a challenge that you're willing to accept and go on moving forward immediately after hearing this video. So with that said, if you got value out of this video, feel free to share it around on Facebook, share it around on Twitter, share it with your team, anybody you feel may benefit. Like I said, drop a comment below. Let me know what you feel about this. Is this a challenge that you're willing to accept moving forward? Also, subscribe to my YouTube page, Gerald Bass. I'm always dropping free training videos just like this. And what I wanted to share with you at the end of this video is that uh, if you want access to our book club, our Rise of the 1% book club is absolutely free. I can guarantee you this. It's tens of thousands of dollars within value. We're actually going to host our first conference call tomorrow for the book club, having a discussion on the book we're reading right now, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. We actually read a book a month. I understand that most people don't read, you know, after they graduate from high school. Most people don't even have a public library or even visit a bookstore uh, in their spare time to continue learning and growing. So if we want to continue learning and growing and getting the most out of life, you have to continue growing yourself. And the best way to do that is by reading. 
is by reading and getting mentors, coaches, listening to audios, going to seminars, the whole nine. So if you want access to this book club, just go to www.getpaidwithgerald.com slash book club. Again, www.getpaidwithgerald.com slash book club. I'm going to leave the link either below or on top of the video. Just click the link, put your name and email in the form, and you have access to the book club for absolutely free. And you'll be getting information on book reviews and not only that, the conference calls and things that we have coming up. So with that said, this is Gerald Bass, G Bass Wolf Tips. Have a phenomenal day on purpose.